Welcome to episode 16 of the Animorphs Read Along broadcast. Today we're talking about book 14, The Unknown. So this is the story of the gang investigating Zone 91, which is an obvious analogy for Area 51, and a bunch of mysterious sort of smart horses. I've often heard this book described as kind of like one of the stupider ones or like, you know, silly. And I mean, the plot is kind of silly. The Yerks are infesting horses in order to spy on Zone 91. And the most bizarre part is that the horses seem to be able to talk. Um, there's really never any explanation given for this. It's just like, oh yeah, the horses are speaking Gallard. And it's like, I'm sorry, I didn't realize horses were capable of that. That part kind of made zero sense. The Yerks are investigating Zone 91, so the Anwerps are investigating why the Yerks are investigating Zone 91. And they're both kind of wondering if they have some sort of big secret alien weapon hidden there. After a, quite a bit of investigating, um, they find out that it's actually just an old Andalite toilet but the Yerks still want to make sure that that is under wraps because any proof of alien life could be a problem in terms of their super easy, chill invasion that they've got going on. Along the way on this, in this book, there's just a lot of like fun, exciting scenes. Like I think for a Cassie book, this book is so light and easy and just like we're having a good time being Animorphs because, you know, compared with book four, book nine and book 19 coming up, Cassie's books, they seem to be really heavy and philosophical and like you're asking yourself these really deep, penetrating moral questions. This book, it's just a good time. They go to the racetrack and Cassie actually morphs into one of the best racehorses in the country and runs the race for him, which is super funny. And then the big showdown at the gardens is also totally ridiculous. I mean, like Jake, Marco, and Cassie all ride like a big splash ride outside of the boat. A lot of these earlier books are about this conflict between the Yerks trying to keep their invasion secret and really keep all alien life secret and the Animorphs kind of being on the opposite side of that. The idea being that the Yerks are not powerful enough for a full-blown you know military war scale invasion. They need this to be going secretly and quietly. This book also features one of my absolute favorite moments in the Animorph series whenever Marco and Rachel and Cassie have been like taken into custody at Zone 91. Whenever they each give a fake phone number and Cassie goes, I just gave him one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Marco's like, eight? You gave him eight numbers? Remind me not ever to be a spy with you. So funny. Cassie gets in trouble in this book for staying out late and not calling and it's kind of funny because the only way her parents can think of to punish her is to embarrass her because like she's so hardworking and a really good kid so like what are they gonna do to her so they embarrass her by talking about Jake sort of implying that like they need to have a talk about the birds and the bees they can also punish her by like making her go shopping with Rachel you know so yeah there are some things in this book that are maybe not so believable like the fact that tons of people saw Anthelites and Hork Bajir during the gardens parade and everyone just sort of shrugs it off. The talking horses make zero sense but this book's just a lot of fun and I really enjoyed reading it. The scene at the gardens really is like iconic and Cassie deserves a break from all her really heavy intense books so I'll take it. So yeah, those are all my thoughts about Animorphs number 14, The Unknown. The next book is book number 15, The Escape. If you want to keep up with this read-along, subscribe to this channel or follow me on Twitter, and I will see you on Thursday.